Hello, I'm Jeff Groff, Winter Tours Estate Historian. And today we're looking at the Coach House. This is probably one of the oldest buildings dating back to the time of Evelina and Antoine Bitterman, who acquired this property in 1837. Right now, we're actually having a survey done of the Coach House and its barn by the Center for Historic Architecture and Design at the University of Delaware. So I suspect we're gonna know a lot more fairly soon about the date and hopefully the history of this building. But what I can tell you is that behind me is this large barn that was built for Antoine Bitterman's farming operations. Over the years, it expanded. A coach house was added onto it where carriages could be stored as well as a place for the horses to pull those carriages. There was a room for harness, uh, tack room, and a variety of other spaces for the various people who helped out in that way. The head coachman for many years for Colonel Henry Algernon DuPont was a man named Clarence Norris. And he lived next door in the tenant farmhouse that we've, that we've nicknamed over the years the cottage. And now is where H.F. DuPont created his final residence in 1951. If we looked along the sides here, there are a lot of features that are dating back to that earlier time period, at least probably the late 19th century. And they're distinctive with the use of brick and the stonework and the various doors and entryways. But in the 1900s, uh, as automobiles became the new thing, the car, uh, the areas for the carriages were turned into garages for the cars. H.F. DuPont had a whole fleet of different vehicles, mostly General Motors, because that's what the DuPont company and DuPont family were so involved in. As this changed from being a carriage house into a garage, as a variety of different new spaces were created and garage doors added that were very much in the uh, sort of style of that period and modern in many ways. Behind me are garage doors probably from the late 1920s or maybe early 1930s. If we look above, there are a whole lot of windows and those were for various rooms that were added where visiting chauffeurs or winter tour staff could stay. In the 1950s, a, a larger apartment was created on the upper level for one of Henry Francis DuPont's uh, butlers. We're now going to uh, take a look at where the carriages would have gone into a very large open room where they could be stored, where they could be taken care of, washed down after a muddy ride. Behind me is the large room where the carriages would have been stored. We have some wonderful photographs uh, that show a number of them lined up next to each other in the space. There's also a really interesting room uh, off of uh, one of the areas at the lower level of this building. And the entire room is lined with tin. And we think that's because that's where the, the leather harness and other things were kept, that the tin protected them from a variety of pests and rodents getting in. We're inside the uh, Bitterman era barn now in the upper loft area where hay would have been stored. And today we store a variety of things, including uh, some of our garden objects. The interesting thing about this that I'm looking forward to finding out is exactly when this was added. It's a bank barn probably the later 1860s for this extension. And that's what uh, the Center for Historic Architecture and Design is gonna try and determine for us. But if you look upwards, you can see just how complicated the uh, system is of rafters. There've been a lot of changes over the years, but it really is one of the most interesting of the barns at Winter Tour. And as I noted, probably one of the earliest. I do feel sorry for Antoine Bitterman when he started construction of the first barn here, I think it was around 1840, it collapsed and they had to rebuild the whole thing. There's some really interesting letters in our archives detailing his distress about that. 
So when you come to visit Wintertort, you'll walk right by this complex of the barn and coach house and other buildings. And I hope this will give you a little bit of a sense of what it's all about.